All right, I'm going to be talking about our specialty heads here, okay? We make three different types of specialty heads, okay? The first one that I want to talk about is the M79. This is a two pound maul sledge head that fits on either the M1 handle or the M4 handle. It's interchangeable to either one. You, it, uh, it replaces the two pound maul, okay? It, it's just really an amazing, amazing head. It has an enormous amount of power for what it's designed as. And with this, with this head right here, this thing is the cat's meow. We have a lot of guys that are using these, both uh, set in forms. Um, I've seen some guys actually use them, you know, to drive nails while they're setting the form so they didn't have to pick up another hammer. So it has a tremendous amount of utility. And again, it mounts on there exactly with the same bolt that you mount the M1, M4 head on, you know, which is a 12.38 by two inch uh, 24 thread count. And it just mounts right up exactly the same way. And uh, this is a very popular head, by the way. The next one I'd like to show you is we've sort of are working, I mean, partnering or in working with, I really like these, these young men over in England who, um, I don't know if you've ever heard of them, they're called Kinetic. And if you haven't heard of them, please give them a follow and look them up. It's a Kinetic, you know, uh, custom um, hammers out of uh, England. And they're just amazing guys. But anyway, they, um, I told them that I don't really have a call for making a tool and developing a product to, to only have a limited amount of sales because every time I do that, it costs a lot of money for tooling and inventory and everything. So what they've done is they periodically make me a small batch of handmade. These are hand tooled. Somebody sits there on a, on a mill and mills all this out. These things are absolutely astounding quality. I mean, it's just, just amazing. And, uh, but I can tell you this, that it's amazing enough that I had them put my name on it. So that should tell you something about their quality of their product. And, um, but I don't get a lot of them and uh, they're not able to make masses of them. But periodically you'll see on my website, a sign, uh, a little area with American British flag. And if I have any kind of custom head that they may have made for me, uh, it'll be on there when it's available. Okay. Um, we're really excited about this partnership and, uh, or this relationship that I have with them because who knows where we're going to go with the next specialty item, but I'm really encouraged by them. And, uh, I'm, I'm just really excited about working with them. But again, this brick head, this brick head fits both on the M4 or the M1. It doesn't matter. And what's kind of unique about this is, you know, it, it's exactly my design with all the features of the M1 and M4 as far as how it mounts and it bolts up. But again, these things are just amazing. The next one I'd like to talk to you about is this is a relatively new product. Um, it's, uh, it's our titanium M4 head. It's called the TIE 4. And this thing, I'm really excited about this thing because when you take this titanium head and you place it on an M4, you have a seriously light hammer. But um, this is like a seven ounce head but it really does amazing things with just that weight. And, uh, but to me, to me, having this titanium head on an M4 handle or even an M1 just gives you an amazing amount of control and uh, a, a unique amount of power. Uh, it's, it's just titanium at its best. But there is one thing I do want to go over with people that, that don't mistake titanium for uh, a tough, I mean, as far as like, um, you know, 
a hardened material. It's tougher than hell. I mean, you, you can't find a metal more tough than titanium, but it's not hard. So those of you with experiences with other titanium hammers have noticed that when you're striking real heavy objects or, you know, hardened steel or you're doing, the head tends to mushroom or chip or it, it deforms just because it's not really made for, uh, for that type of use. So this titanium head is really meant to uh, be used in light finish work or someplace, you know, like decks and siding and windows and someplace where you're doing a lot of repetitive hitting and you just want a really light feel, this is it. To me, this is my go-to. Now with my shoulder in the shape that it's in, um, I'll never swing anything else but this right here. Um, it, it tends to do everything I need it to do. You know, I don't build big houses anymore. So, uh, but I'm really excited. And these should be coming up in inventory um, here real soon. But uh, we went ahead and we're gonna put this into production. Although, with this head, it does mount on the hammer handle a little bit different. It has the same principle, but it's a little bit different. In whereas, it has a pocket right here behind the head. Now, slip the bolt in through the handle and drop the nut into that pocket and tighten it from the back, okay? And it has a 9 16 head on it and then screw it right into the handle, just like that. Same way as you do the other, although instead of it screwing into the head, it has this bolt that it screws into right here. Now, a lot of people are wondering why I did it that way. Well, if ever I was gonna make a titanium head, the only way I could make a titanium head is find another way to fasten it on because it's nearly impossible to put a production run of this tool and drill out that head and tap it being made out of titanium. It wears bits out too fast. It is just a very expensive way to do it. And it just costs way too much to even think about coming out with a titanium head. So when we put our heads together and came up with, well, why don't we just put the bolt in this titanium and the titanium is strong enough to hold no questions. Now, what I wouldn't recommend doing with this hammer is thinking that you're gonna demo stuff with it and you're gonna pry stuff with it really hard because that isn't what this hammer head was intended for. It's intended for light use and uh, repetitive use. Now, don't get me wrong, you can abuse it, but it probably will growl back at you, a, you know, I don't know how hard, depending on what you're doing with it. But what I would recommend is just using this for finish work and light duty stuff. And again, remember that it goes in like this. Again, you have this, you know, this 9 16 regular hex head bolt. Now, that brings up something. We have this 12 point bolt on this on the M1 and the M4 for a number of reasons, okay? It takes a 12 point wrench, which I mean, Home Depot, Lowe's, everybody has three 12 points, okay? And, and it's the box end um, that, that you wanna use. Well, if ever you lost this bolt or hurt this bolt, we'll send you a new one. But in the interim, you can run down to your local hardware store or Lowe's or Home Depot and buy a 9 16 hex head with the same thread count, a, a 3 8 24 bolt, and do the same thing with it. It doesn't need to be the 12 point. So if, if you'd rather have a hex head, buy a hex head and put it in there. Just make sure it's a hardened steel bolt. But uh, that pretty much covers our, our custom heads and how they mount with our platform.